So this boat had bottom paint on it before and the customer doesn't keep it in the water. He keeps it on a lift. He wanted to increase the performance and stylistically get rid of the bottom paint. So what we did is we media blasted the entire bottom of this boat. We got rid of all the layers of bottom paint. We got rid of the epoxy layers, went down to the factory gel coat. Wherever there were blemishes, we went ahead and fixed those. And then a process that a lot of people aren't familiar with is after we did nine gallons of gel coat on the bottom of this boat to bring it all the way back up and level, a process that a lot of people aren't familiar with is blueprinting. What we do is after we did the entire gel coat surfacing on the bottom of this boat. Then we use a product called Dye Chem. We use that blue dye on the entire bottom to go ahead and show us when we're sanding where the high and low spots are. Even when a boat comes out of a mold, it doesn't necessarily always come out of a mold perfect. Not all molds are perfect to begin with. So even blueprinting a factory brand new boat a lot of times can increase performance. It's something that the performance boat brands have done for many years. Not all center console brands do it because not all center console guys are really after every single mile an hour. This customer in particular is after every single mile an hour. So he's got triple 400 Mercury R racing engines on it. And even though it's a big heavy cabin style boat, he's still up in the 70 mile an hour range and he wants to squeeze every mile an hour if he can. So you can see down here what we're doing, getting closer to the final stages of sanding here. So this is actually the second layer of die chem we've done to get rid of the high and low spots. This area is all sanded. We use the blue die in here so that as we're sanding, Wherever the blue remains, we know that those are low spots that need to be taken out. We also know when we're block sanding that the spots that the blue wears away the fastest, we're going to go ahead and mark those and make sure that when we get to the final stage, we come back and check those with the block again to make sure that that's not still a high spot. Because we're not just trying to get rid of the blue, we're trying to make sure that we don't have high spots. That way this boat is a sheet finish from bow to stern and reduces drag by creating pockets in the bottom of the boat where you might have low or high spots in the gel coat. So something like this can be done to any boat. This boat had bottom paint on it. You don't necessarily have to go full blueprint on the bottom of a boat just to put new gel coat on it. You can do one layer of blueprinting or just a straight gel coat, sand and polish and bring the boat back. You can see just by looking at it right now, we're in the very beginning stages of blueprinting and it already looks like a brand new bottom. This process can be done in many different ways to cost different amounts. This guy wants every bit of performance he can get. So we went ahead and we're gonna blueprint this all the way out until it's a flawless bottom from bow to stern. Doesn't have to necessarily be that far, but getting rid of the bottom paint, if you keep the boat on a lift or if you keep it in a rack and stack, it definitely can increase your performance, your miles per gallon, and also the appearance of the boat. You can give us a call and we can give you a quote on any boat depending on what type of performance you're looking for. If you're just stylistically looking to get rid of your bottom paint, or maybe you just wanna do a new bottom job, we do that as well. So give us a call anytime.